That's weird. That's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's Jordan Myers and today we are gonna be doing the month of June slate it or hated it and first let's start out with the slate it products uh, it's actually a weird group actually there's no makeup in this is that weird can we just talk about skincare this month this month is about skincare because your girl has been having some crazy switches with my face and my skin and all that jazz and I just want to share with you guys some skincare products that really have saved me this month. First, let's talk about this Milk Matcha Cleanser. As you can see, like I literally, I'm almost finished with it. I used literally the whole thing. This stuff is so handy in the mornings, like before I start filming videos and stuff, because it's literally, it's just stick. You rub this on your face and then you take water and you just like massage it in, wash it off and you're good to go. Also, traveling with this because I went to VidCon. It was amazing by the way. I'll have a vlog video going up on my vlog channel which is more Joby. I'll link it down below. Go check that out. It's super fun, super different. Love it. Anyways, back to this. So this was super easy to just throw in my bag and I don't know. I love this stuff. I love it so much as you can see. It's just so convenient and easy to do my morning skincare routine with love 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 that so the next thing i want to talk about is this aven sickle fate i got this because charles gross literally won't shut up about it so i decided well if he's not going to stop talking about this it must be that great so i decided to pick this up i ordered it on Wal not Walmart, Walgreens or CVS.com. Um, it was pretty expensive, not gonna lie. But this stuff is amazing if you have super dry skin. I just slather this stuff all over my face and in the morning, my skin just feels super nice, super soft, super moisturized because I have extremely dry skin. This stuff has literally helped me a ton. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it so far. So moving on to the next thing, I have the Blistex Lip Medics and it's in this little blue little jar thingy. You guys, I've gone through at least three or four of these in the past year and I just got a big thing of six in bulk from Amazon for like $14 of these. I have one of these in my purse, in my car, down here in my studio. Like I have one of these laying everywhere because this is the only thing that keeps my lips moisturizer moisturized this is the only thing that keeps my lips moisturized so if you know way back when if you've been here since then i had chemical poisoning on my lips because of some fake up that i tried and my lips literally were peeling and dry and cracking and red for weeks the only thing that healed those disgusting nasty lips was this stuff this stuff literally is pure gold it'll literally heal your cracky nasty chapped lips in a couple of days like literally slather this stuff on some nasty lips and they will be brand new in one to two days depending on how bad or chapped your lips are um this stuff is amazing it's freaking amazing i cannot tell you enough good stuff about this stuff Moving on, so next I want to talk about this little e.l.f. lip dissolver. It's like literally the most simple packaging. It doesn't even say what it is. It's just in a lip gloss tube. But this is a lipstick dissolver. I use this all the time because I'm constantly trying on new lipsticks, you know, doing a ton of swatches on my arms, on my lips, even like... Like I already tried to get this off, but I'm gonna have to run this over my arm to get these swatches off because y'all, matte liquid lipsticks are so hard to remove sometimes, but this stuff just makes it so easy and it's like so cheap. It was like one or two dollars, like hello, deal. But literally you just swipe this on, like just put a generous amount on your lips and then take a paper towel, a makeup wipe, anything you want and it just literally just removes anything off your lips especially hard to hard to remove liquid lipsticks that is the best stuff ever so now we're into the hated it for the month and the hated it 
the hated it portion of this video is kind of brutal like I'm gonna be brutal here brutally honest that's me um let's go so the first thing that I absolutely just despise is the beauty bakery illuminator this stuff is so messy like literally just touching it I've got gold glitter sprinkles all over everywhere like It's the most inconvenient packaging ever. Like, the hold up, hold up. The product is good. I have to tell you, the product is good, but the packaging is what just makes this infuriating for me. First of all, it's literally like half of the size of my face, so I can't fit it in any of my storage. Like, I can't fit this in any of my makeup storage because I've got like the small little acrylic drawers for everything. And of course, like normal makeup products can fit in an acrylic little makeup drawer. But this thing is literally so huge, I can't put it anywhere. So it's like hiding in a drawer over there. But I don't even want to use this just because every time I... F every time I freaking open the lid, gold glitter goes everywhere. It gets all over my, my shirt, all over everything, all over my hands. It's just so inconvenient. Like... I would like this if it was in a normal like little jar, but this, mm -mm, mm -mm. this just makes me so angry. I don't know why you would put it in such a mess. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Moving on. So next I have the House of Beauty. These are the lip hybrids. Listen, I did a video on everything that I'm hating for this month so far, so I don't know if these videos have gone up or not. But if they haven't, you're getting a sneak peek, a little preview. So these are lip hybrids. And first of all, they're not even pigmented. Uh, they don't look anything like the pictures on the website. They're in these little tiny little jar thingies. When it's literally a lip gloss that could be in a tube. And that just annoys me so much because I have to, you know, get out a lip brush, put it on. You know, lip brushes are so stinking annoying. Like... If there's ever a chance I don't have to use a lip brush, I'm just not going to use that product. Like, I'm not. It's just inconvenient. Like, put it in a stinking lip gloss tube. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Mm. Mm. Moving on to the Kylie Jenner Face Duo. And this is the Skinny Dip Face Duo. First of all, I really do like this bronzer. The bronzer is really pretty. But this highlight literally is trash. Like, let me just do a little swatch. So, I'm giving it a decent a decent coat in there. So it looks pretty on the finger. Like, obviously, yeah, that's really pretty. But, I'm sorry. Do you see anything? Because I don't. It's literally the faintest, 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 faintest little sheen of gold no no the highlight freaking sucks um the bronzer is really pretty though the bronzer has a nice gold little glitter shimmer in it makes the skin look really beautiful but i'm not gonna buy this duo just for the bronzer like there's a ton of bronzers that look exactly like this like it was just a waste of money because I'm never going to reach for this just for the bronzer, if that makes sense. I don't know. That was just a disappointing product. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joey Squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But before I go, let me just put on my meme glasses. <laughs> <sighs> y'all, I was a little bit savage today. Listen, I'm in a good mood. But y'all, if you come out with something stupid, if you put it in stupid packaging, I'm gonna roast you for it. Like, let's be smart with our packaging, okay? Like, I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to be honest here. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Like, come on. Come on, guys. I'm just trying to help you out. We can make, we can get through this. We can get through this. I know we can. All right, bye.